Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tiara's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Virgos out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a generating, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please stay the parts that does and what doesn't leave it on out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me, okay? All right, Virgo, Virgo. Oh my goodness. So I'm getting like mixed emotions in this situation okay it's like you popping out as a high priestess and the queen of swords some of you it's like you have the your intuition is telling you about something your intuition is just like nugging at you it's nudging at your ass and it's like something that you cannot ignore is what i'm getting your intuition is like really on point about someone in particular for some of y'all we have your pisces we have an air sign energy aquarius gemini uh we have your aries on the table as well all right but it's like oh my goodness Oh my goodness. So here's what I'm getting, Virgo. You a trip though, baby, because you you popping out as a high priestess. You are very in tune with yourself here. It's like you know when something is up, even though you may not have all the facts or the proof or the evidence, but you know that something is up. Something is like not really right about a situation, right? We got here the Knight of Cups. There is someone here that's coming towards you to offer you something is what I'm getting here, okay? Whoever this person is, but some of you, I'm getting two energies here, to be honest with you. Two energies in particular. Some of you, you could be dealing with a younger water sign. You don't have to be, but you could be de dealing with somebody here that has some type of feelings for you. Okay, but you, on the other hand, you could be attracted to this person as well. But there is some type of competition here, whether it's like a third party or, you know what I'm saying? Or some of you could be thinking or realizing that somebody could be very charismatic. All right, it's like they have this gift of gab. It's like they have a way with words or something of that nature. And their way of words could literally get you like entwined in their web. Okay, stuck in the web. Here's what I'm getting. So some of you could be in that energy with the queen of swords ready to cut this person off or cut someone off or what have you, okay? Because it's like you want to focus more into yourself here with the self-care being, you know, car being here. So some of you, it's like you're all about yourself right now. You're really not, you're just in that energy of cutting people off that no longer serves you. Somebody over here that's playing games, that's trying to, you know, woo you in some type of way or whatever it may be. It's like you're tired of that energy. You just want somebody to be authentic and genuine is what I'm getting. Okay, but for some of y'all, you could be very attracted to this Knight of Cups here, okay, is what I'm getting, but then we have the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Ace of Wands, some of y'all could feel like somebody ain't got nothing to offer but some D, I'm gonna keep it real with you, okay, some of you could feel like somebody that has nothing to offer but some dick, okay, that's all they have to offer, or if that's what you're thinking it is, maybe you feel like it's just an attraction there, okay, um, maybe this person hasn't really showed you or, you know, wine and dined you in some type of way. It, it's basically you're, you're getting this person is not backing up what they say that they were, they were going to do, you know, for you or what have you. OK, so some of you, it's like your intuition is telling you that somebody could be out here being a player. They could be giving a love to other people here is what I'm getting. OK, you could feel like this person is very promiscuous. This person, um, they just like, to. OK, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. OK, I'm getting that now. All right, because then we have here in a relationship in reverse. So for some of y'all, something is going down today. Okay, Virgo, we got here karmic third party situation. And then we got here silence, non-action. So for some of y'all, somebody's not dealing with a third party. That's for some of y'all, okay? Somebody here is not dealing with a third party situation anymore. They ain't even getting this person no attention. They're not communicating with this person or what have you, okay? And now in the present moment, they're not doing it. But the thing about it is desire like i said somebody could be desiring you okay and there is someone a drama queen behind the scenes that's tripping out about this okay or this person is one of this masculine okay is what i'm getting this this could be a um because you're showing up as a high priestess okay and the queen of swords so you could have already cutting this person out of your life due to them being so promiscuous and you know always wanting to be out there and you know whatever just 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 going with the wind okay don't have no really sense of direction or discipline okay so some of you could have cut this person off this individual is out here you know what's that song by um who was it the Temptations, I don't even know what the you know, Temptations be. It was one of them old school bands back in the day. Okay. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he's dead, oh, no, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, <laughs> 
So this person here was dealing with a karmic energy. All right, this person is full of drama, whoever she is. It's like she's wanting this masculine for his sexual, you know, nature. Okay, that's the only reason why she want him or this is what she does in order to get this masculine intertwined with her. Okay, for some of y'all. Others of y'all, you need to be careful because this bitch is over here, you know, keeping tabs on you. Okay, because it's like she knows this masculine has other suitors. But at the same time, she's so focused on you, worried about you here, Virgo. Okay, is what I'm getting. So she could definitely be writing or keeping notes on your ass, okay? And talking about you with gossip being here, okay? This bitch is over here talking and discussing this shit with her little friends, okay? Her little friends here. Who gives a fuck? We got here completion, lesson learned. So you already learned the lesson from this situation. Okay, you could have blocked this individual out. Okay, like I said, in this karmic bitch or they did. Okay, and now someone's mad and pissed off. All right, about this whole situation coming to an end. Yeah, because some of you, it's like with the seven wands, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your fucking energy. All right. Yeah, seven of cups. You don't got time for no type of confusion. All right. You just with the nine of wands, you're blocking these people, this person, this whole situation out. It's like you're so tired of people putting you in a situation that you already dismiss yourself from. Okay. You're so tired of these people still being worried about you here, Virgo. When you ain't even worried about these people, you have already moved the fuck on. Okay. For some of y'all. You already moved on. And with the scar the stark, oh yeah, pressure cooker. Yeah. What's pressure cooker? Somebody is pissed the fuck off. Oh, cause somebody's now single. So there's somebody mad because this masculine is now single here. Okay. They out here trying to hustle. They out here trying to do what they need to do. And they knew what that they had to do was to leave behind some type of a karmic energy. Okay, yeah, denial. Somebody is in denial that somebody is out here claiming that they're single. And this is definitely this karmic energy. She's fucking pissed the fuck off, Virgo. Okay? This person is still holding out on hope. This could be an Aquarius with the star card. This person is still holding out on hope that maybe you guys could come back together. Okay? This is what I'm getting with the three of pentacles and the star card. Okay? Yeah, they hoping that you will, you know, one day invest into them. It's what I'm getting. So, in the meantime, this, this masculine is trying to do things of their own. Okay? Because they're realizing that this feminine energy is not where it's at. But at the same time, it looks like, I don't know, the other females fighting over this masculine. Maybe it's not just one feminine. Not, you know, one karmic. It's plenty, many karmics or something like that. Ooh, yeah. So, my car is acting crazy. And it's like, I'm like, I don't know. It's like my throat shocking is being affected. So, for some of y'all... Like, this shit is crazy. Somebody could literally be trying to set you up or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we got here lost, ghosted, blocked, cut off. Somebody is pissed the fuck off. Somebody is really sending you some type of negative energy over a nigga that you don't even want. You ain't even affiliated with. You ain't compensated with. You ain't fucking. Okay, for some of y'all, you could have dealt with stuff with this person, not knowing, so you cut them off. Okay, yeah, we got here searching online, looking for you. So somebody here is looking for your ass. Okay, we got here locked box and threatened. Yeah, because somebody's feeling threatened. They need rescuing or something like that. Okay, from a situation or whatever like that that they felt trapped in. Yeah, we got here children. Somebody could have definitely been trapped through, you know, you know, having kids by somebody else or something like that. Then we got here trash. Ooh. Damn. Who did that know? That's crazy. I don't want to say what I want to say. Yeah. What I tell you, y'all. Yep. Hey, it is what it is. Somebody divorced somebody and left their left them with some type of children, okay, or something. I said some type of children. Lord, have mercy. But left them with the, you know the children that they had with this other person or with you, okay. Somebody's pissed the fuck off. But you could be out here really happy, overjoyed, and okay, like you're not even being affected by this shit. You could be feeling some type of foreign energy that is not yours, some negative energy that's not yours, or whatever like that. But mmm. There's a bitch over here pissed off, mad, like she's mad that this masculine actually cut her off, okay, and left her with the kids. But then again, bitch, what did the fuck did you expect? Because if he did that to an empress, if he did that to the Virgo, he went and left the Virgo to go be with you or whatever the situation may be. And then he had children with the Virgo. What the fuck you think he gonna do with you, baby? I don't know why women be thinking they won, thinking they stole somebody's man and had a baby with that man. That man is gonna do exactly how he did the, the last one. Okay, period. Or the first one, the Empress or whatever like that was, you know, mature enough and, you know, to leave the motherfucker behind. Okay? You didn't win shit, bitch. If anything, you, you took, okay, the stress off of the Empress. Sorry, honey, because you didn't win a goddamn thing over here, honey. Because, you know what I'm saying, you want a motherfucking headache. If you like headaches, bitch, that's cool then. You feel me? That's cool then. If you like headaches, you feel what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, she just, she just wants this masculine for his... Like, she could be doing love spells on this masculine. 
she could be calling this masculine in to like you know have sex with her so she can do some type of love like sex magic or something love spell on this masculine sofa some of y'all uh i'm getting she could be cooking this nigga a pot of spaghetti and put her blood in that shit you gotta be careful who you fuck with okay he realizing that shit but this shit is not this is what he i ain't gonna say that what he give but hey at the end of the day you put yourself in that situation so you got to deal with them consequences. You you made that big. You got to lie on that shit. Yeah, we got here negotiated bargaining and begging. Ooh. Hope ain't nobody begging nobody, honey. You got to know your worth, baby. Mm, what else? Yeah, and stable, unquestionable, wanting more. So some of y'all need to be careful because there is someone here that's going crazy, delusional, acting a fool because there's a masculine that left their asses today. Okay, whatever. Or this is going down today. Or they realizing today that this masculine wants nothing to do with them. For some of y'all, he want to be free. Okay? And sleep with whoever he want a motherfucker to sleep with. Okay? And he already know for a fact he can't come towards you. He tried to play that game. Be all nice and nice. And, you know, talk that good game. But, baby, you ain't going for that bullshit. Okay? So, what he got to do? Settle for less. Anyway, I'm going to end it right there, Virgo. You guys need anything else from me? Look in the description box below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.